Motivation doesn't just happen just by listening to someone talk or listening to podcasts or reading a book. You have to try your best and push yourself. It doesn't just happen on its own. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel if you're new here and welcome back if you are already part of the tribe. Today we're going to talk about how to get your life together. With all of the uncertainty this year, it is time we get some grip, right? This year has taught us how much is out of our control. I've definitely been working on getting my life together. I am definitely feeling like my life is finally coming together. So I want to share what has worked for me and hopefully it can help you out too. The first one and what's more important to me is to be present. When time is so uncertain, when life feels like it's falling apart, it's very easy to be stuck in the past or in the future. Anywhere else but the present. Through the storm, we cannot forget how blessed we are. Although some people may not be surrounded by their loved ones, and I totally understand that, we are still blessed to be here. To still be here after such a, a pandemic, a traumatic moment, year, not moment, year. So many months, weeks of uncertainty, of stress, of everything you can possibly think of because I would have never imagined that we will be here. We will have to stay quarantined, stay in your place wherever you live, be away from family members if you aren't feeling well. Never in a million years would I have thought that I would experience something like this. I've watched movies where this happened and to live it is something completely different. So moments where things feel so dark we have to remember what we're grateful for. So that's what has helped me. Being present, taking in the positive, right? Because watching the news and all that negativity, we have to know and be fully aware of the good that we still have in our lives. Another thing that has helped me feel accomplished and feel like I can start a brand new day on a good note is making my bed. And yes, I know, we've all talked about it. I'm sure you've heard it so often, but it's true. And once you finally get yourself out of bed and ready to start your day, making your bed definitely gives you a sense of accomplishment. And there are many, many tests that prove it. And I believe it. I believe it because it happens to me. When I get my bed ready, I am ready to tackle anything else there's anything else i have to clean anything else around the house it doesn't have to even be in the room it just gives you that motivation to just keep going so it's definitely helpful it gives you that sense of okay let's get going you know just keep the ball rolling and just tackling anything else that you have to do during that day especially when it comes to cleaning getting physically ready for your day regardless of whether or not you're going to leave the house, has helped me so much. If I don't shower and do anything, my mood feels the same way. It just feels like blah, you know, just like under the weather. But if I shower and get ready, do my hair here and there, nothing crazy, right? Because I'm not gonna, I'm not going to waste any hair products when I know I'm not leaving my house, but at least I still look put together for myself. Spread some body spray and just, you know, get myself together. Even if I'm not leaving my house, gets me in such a better mood. Keeping personal hygiene up to date, it's always good. It's always going to help you feel better when you feel inside and out better. And that includes your physical appearance. So because you're not leaving your house and staying in your PJs all day, that's not gonna help you. Having a to-do list is also important, whether it's written down or mentally. It's good to know the day before what you wanna do the next day. That way you know exactly what's gonna happen the following day. So after you get your bed ready, after you shower, and you get into your fresh new clothes and get yourself put together, knowing what comes after is always good tackling your tasks. Don't put anything to the side because you feel like it's a big task. Take things step by step. Tackle each task 
one at a time. Don't feel like you have all of these things you have to accomplish today. What worked for me was not seeing everything that I had to do as one big project or having to do it all in one day. Focused on each task individually, I gave it my undivided attention without having to think of everything else that I had to do. Because when you focus on everything you have to do, your mind is really all over the place. So tackling each task individually was very, very helpful to me. Once you see that you tackled one task, you're just going to want to keep going. When you get things done, it motivates you to continue going. When you feel lazy or when you don't motivate yourself or get yourself ready to continue your next task, you're not going to feel motivated. You will have to take the initiative. You have to keep your word and everything that you have to do and hold yourself accountable. Motivation doesn't just happen just by listening to someone talk or listen to podcast or reading a book you have to try your best and push yourself it doesn't just happen on its own so get yourself to do what you need to do but find a way that works for you if it works for you to do certain things on a certain day then do that if it works better for you to do it all in one day then do that but don't overwork yourself i know you may not have a lot of time you may have other things you have to take care of. However, find a time that works best for you physically and mentally. Because if you overwork yourself, you know you're overworking yourself all around. That's why it's important to find what works for you. That way, it doesn't just have your mind spinning everywhere and your thoughts and your head overall all cluttered up. Find what works for you, that way you can be better in anything that you have to do, in everything else that you have to do, whether it's a task, whether it's your children, whether it's any part of your life. Speaking of decluttering, decluttering as you go has helped so, 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 so much. So last year for uh, the beginning of this year, every year I try to get rid of things I don't use, things I haven't used for many, many months or weeks and just get rid of it. So that's what I did last uh, December. So December 2019, I got rid of so many things. So I'm no longer waiting until the year end so I can get rid of everything. As I go, I just keep getting rid of what I don't need. Whatever I see that I don't use, I get rid of it. Why? Because as I mentioned before, a clearer space calls for a clearer mind. If you have too much in the way, or maybe there's a mess here and there, that's how you're going to feel inside. It's happened to me, and trust me, try it. See how you feel on a day where your place is the most cluttered, the most messy. Then compare that to how you feel when everything is so tidy and all put together. Make sure you make time for yourself. Self-care is everything. Anything I just mentioned will not be the same if you don't take care of yourself. You have to make time for yourself. Self-care is not something that you have to do X and X in order for you to get that. Self-care is not a reward. Self-care is something that all of us as human beings deserve. We all need in our life. We all need to pamper ourselves, to take care of ourselves. It doesn't matter how long you give yourself. If it's in the shower, wash your hair, uh, use a, a, a body scrub, exfoliate your body. Um, I don't know, just let the water run on top of you and just relax or lie in your bathtub and have a nice bath. Go ahead and get a Maddie and a pedicure. Just lounge. You can also just lounge in your living room and relax rest and reset there's so much going on everywhere this entire year all year long life has been crazy so make sure you make that time to unwind it is crucial you have to make time for yourself no one can make this time for you and yes I know you may be thinking, yeah, it's so easy to say when you have X and S to take care of, and you have this and you have this and you have that. Yeah, the same way you make time for this and this and that, it is also the same way you will make time for yourself. Some things are just that simple. 
And again, it doesn't have to be a long time. Sometimes even a simple walk where you can clear your thoughts can make a huge difference. So, yes, I understand everybody's lifestyle is different. I understand everybody has different things going on during their 24 hours and everybody has different responsibility. I'm totally aware of that. What I am saying is, regardless of what's happening during your 24 hours, if you don't make time for yourself, eventually you will crash. You will crash because you need downtime. You need time to take care of yourself. Taking care of myself and making time for myself has made all the difference in my life. I cannot stress that enough. It has made all the difference. It has made me the important person in my life that I am. Why? Because I prioritize me. I don't put everything else in front of me. I don't think that I have to do that before I do this. No, I make time for everything equally. That is all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and I appreciate your time. Thank you so, so, so much for your support. Definitely, definitely, definitely appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Don't forget to like it. If you did like this video, then like it. Give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. How do you feel about this topic? Can you relate what has worked for you? If you're not already part of the tribe, then don't forget to subscribe. If you watched till the end, you must have liked it. So subscribe and join the family. Join the tribe. Thank you again, and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.